of the gospel, a labor of love. Why this lesson, sisters and brothers? It is because we go to church all of our lives, believing in God, trusting in God, preaching what we believe to be the word of God. But then compared to what is written, we are kind of uninformed. So therefore, the Lord calls me to put this lesson together that the preaching of the gospel is indeed a labor of love. And why is it set up? to make straight the way of the Lord. My job as a minister and as a watchman and all of us here at the Israel of God and all the churches, the true churches of God, we are supposed to be giving you the true word of God, which is designed to cause you to repent and to save yourself. So you go to church so that you can learn literally how to be indeed very God. And I mean, indeed, let's start this off. Uh, Brother Stevie is my reader today. We're going to start this off at Romans chapter 10. Romans, the 10th chapter, and we're going to pick it up at verse 17. And I like to do like the book say, up in the book, down in the book, backwards, forward, here a little, and there a little. And put the whole puzzle together whereby we all might get the big picture and the plan of salvation from God for this man. Romans 10 and verse 17. Romans 10 and verse 17. Let's so, go, Stevie. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith is none other than belief, sisters and brothers. But God got a protocol that cannot be broken. Faith comes by hearing and hearing come by the word of God. Back up to verse 10 and let's look at this thing, how it really starts out. Back up to verse 10, Romans 10 and 10. Come on, Stevie. For with the heart. Man believeth unto righteousness. The heart represents the mind. The Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. That's why it gave you two legs to carry that brain around, to make up your mind on what you want to do, whether you want to save yourself or no. Come on, bro. And with the mouth, confession is made unto yes. salvation. Yes. For the scripture saith, whoever, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Shall not be ashamed. Because if you don't believe on him, it's going to be ashamed. Even in eternal shame. Skip down to verse 13. 13 and, and go ahead. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be, not already is, shall be saved. And he means that. And that is true. But it's some more to that. Go ahead. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Well, Brother Julius, I've been, I've been, I've been uh, hearing on Jesus all my life. I've been believing on Jesus all my life. But Paul told you there was going to be another Jesus coming that's going to give you another gospel, preach another kingdom, and another spirit, and another doctrine. The Jesus of the Bible never, ever promised you that you're going to be up there with him. He told you, thy kingdom come. Come on, bro. What verse? And how, middle of 14. Go ahead. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? How could you hear in a Jesus or a God that you've never heard about or read about? There's many gods in the earth, ain't but one true God. But you got the God of Christmas, you got the God of Easter, you got the God of All Hallows Eve, you got the God of Mardi Gras, pagan, pagan, pagan. And all of them put God in it, but it's not of God. Come on, Stevie. And, and how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Go ahead. And how shall they preach? Except they be sent. So now your preacher Solomon told you in Ecclesiastes that uh, uh, when your preachers are sent from God, they will teach you knowledge. Knowledge is know-how. Everything you know in your life, you have been taught or you read it out of a book, sisters and brothers. And that's an absolute. Same thing with the word of God. The Bible said they shall all be taught of God. Come on. As it is written, 
How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. And that is the gospel of the kingdom of God. The gospel of the kingdom of God is the setting up of the government of God on this earth. And he going to take it by force. What, what they call the war of Armageddon, which when you really look at it, is really not a war. It's a toy war. Let's go to 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. This is why you read this book, sisters and brothers, so you can save yourself, so you can work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, so that you can be a useful servant of God, rightfully dividing the word of truth, so that you won't have to be embarrassed or, or be ashamed. So you go to cemetery, a seminary school and get taught theology as opposed to just reading the Bible. Well, Brother Julius, who ordained you? God ordained me. How do you know? I got his word. I'm walking in it. I'm striving. I'm striving to be full of his spirit, which is the understanding of the word of God. Now, all that's simple. First Corinthians 12. First Corinthians 12 and verse one. Look what Paul said. Read it. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, right? I would not have you ignorant. Uh-huh. Skip down to verse four. Skip down to verse four. Continue. Now there are diversities of gifts, uh -huh. but the same spirit. Right. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. But the same Lord, right? And there are diversities of operations, but it's the same God which worketh all in all. See, the God got a protocol and a plan, sisters and brothers, and it cannot, absolutely cannot be broken. Read, Stevie. Uh, Psalms. Was that the end of that? That was the end of that, bro. Okay, so God gave you different gifts for the administration of the gospel or the church system, brothers. You got deacons in it. You got pastors. You got evangelists. You got all kinds of gifts to make the church run smoothly, system, brothers, for the setting or preparing for the return of the Lord so that he can have a holy church. Psalm 68. Psalm 68. Psalm 68, and we got one verse. Verse 18, read it. Thou hast ascended on high. Thou hast ascended on high. Thou hast led captivity captive. This is why when he went back uh, after he was crucified, he stayed in the grave for three days and three nights, and then he ascended on high to, to do what? Thou hast received gifts for men. Did we just read that in the psalm? We are do uh, we read this in the psalm, but we read that in Corinthians. Go ahead. Yeah, for the rebellious also. Yes, that the Lord God might dwell among them. So you got gifts for men. You bought preachers and prophets and teachers and evangelists and service and deacons, sisters and brothers, for the work or the administration of God, even for the wicked, so that they might be corrected. Remember, the purpose of going to church is to. Learn the mind of God and get rid of working on, get rid of this carnal mind and get the spirit of God in you or what you call the mind of Jesus in you. He told you in Philippians, the second chapter, verse five, let this mind be in you. That's why you go to church. But now a whole lot of people go to church. Don't tell, don't take their Bibles. Come as you are, they say. But you can't stay that way in the true church of God. You can't stay that way. So you go to church to be entertained. Woo, the choir sang. Woo, the, the prayer dances. And, and, oh, I got my praise on. Oh, and boom, 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 and the drummers and, and everything. And the pastor, I saw the Lord, and the music playing. Dun, 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 dun. Entertainment. You go to be entertained. But then what did you learn when you come out of there? What did you learn, sisters? What did you learn about the third heaven? What did you learn about Melchizedek? The only thing that you learn is who how to give your money, because he's sure going to tell you, you have robbed me in tithes and offerings. But what did you learn out of the book? Come on, Stevie. What verses? Where we at? Our Ephesians. Let's go to Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4 and begin reading at verse 1. Go ahead, brother. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, <laughs> uh -huh. beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. This is the vocation. My job as a minister and all the ministers here at the Israel of God, the Lord has appointed us watchmen. Sir. Our job is to warn you from God and make straight the way of the return of the Lord. The same thing that our ancestors did. This is why Israel is his priest to teach the whole world to repent, Learn about God and save yourself. He said, my house should be a house of prayer for all people. The Lord don't desire that nobody die. But because of disobedience and sin, the wages of sin is death. 
And what makes up sin? Three components. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Same thing that got Satan and the devil kicked out. You don't want that. Sin is the transgression of the law. But them three components make up sin. Let's go uh, continue, my brother. Skip down to verse 8 and continue. Eight. Wherefore he saith, yes. when he ascended up on high, uh -huh. he led captive captive and gave gifts unto men. This is why we read, Stevie, a little here a little and yeah. there a little. Everything New Testament, Old Testament, put the whole puzzle together. Notice he's quoting, Paul is quoting from the Old Testament. How much Old Testament do you hear in your church, sisters and brothers? How much of it? Read it, Stevie. Now that he ascended. What is it but that he also descend first into the lower parts of the earth? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens. What lower parts of the earth? Then in the days of Noah, when men was wicked and, 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 the, and the Lord just destroyed it, everything except eight souls. Come on, bro. That he might fill all things. Yes. And he gave some apostles. Apostles. And some prophets. Apostles is a, a learned one. A prophet, he, he already gave the prophets now. So the best that we can do today is to prophesy. Come on, bro. And some evangelists. And some evangelists. And some pastors and teachers. And some pastors and teachers. You didn't see the word reverend here. You didn't see the word rabbi here. You didn't see the word father here. Well, brother Jew, of Julius, are you a reverend? Absolutely not. That's way above my pay grade. I'm just brother Julius. I'm just a minister. And I'm happy with that, sisters and brothers. I don't, I don't, titles don't influence me. I don't need it. All I care about is doing my job as a minister and make it straight the way of the Lord. Come on, Steve, what verse, verse? Verse 12. Yes. For the perfecting of the saints. For the perfecting of the saints. That's why he gave you prophets and deacons and pastors and teachers and events. For the perfecting of the saints. Or the separated or the saints of God. Set yourself apart from the rest of the world. Come on, Stevie. For the work of the ministry. For the work of the ministry. For the edifying of the body of for Christ. For the education or edifying of the body of Christ. That's why the Lord said, how could they hear without a teacher or a preacher? And how could they preach a teacher unless they is sent? You can't be a teacher or a preacher in God and not know where Adam got his wife from. Or where Cain got his wife from. Or, well, it was only Adam and Eve. Go to Genesis, the fifth chapter. The book said Adam lived another 130 years and begat sons and daughters. A true servant of God will inform you on that. But somebody that's uninformed, maybe they're just a hireling. Maybe they don't work for God. What verse, Steve? Verse 13. Finish it. Till we all come in the unity of the faith. Yes. And of the knowledge of the Son of God. That's what it takes, knowledge, yes. Unto a perfect man. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. In other words, when you literally become born into the very spirit family of God and be God. Remember, it is written in Psalm the 82nd chapter. I have said ye are gods. Let's go to St. John the 3rd chapter. St. John the 3rd chapter. And we're going to read something that a lot of people quote. Got it in the football stadiums and nobody understands it. Or I, I should say that nobody, a lot of people are misinformed on it. St. John 3. St. John 3, and pick it up at verse 16, my brother. Go ahead. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. Uh-huh. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, I always looked at that scripture, for God so loved the world, but which one? Stealing, killing, murdering, injustice, hatred, denominations. He loved this. Oh, yeah, he loved it so much that he's going to destroy it, going to burn it with fire. Well, so God so loved the world, he loved this creation because he told you that everything that he made was very good. Even this man, he loved this man so much that he's going to make this man like him. But man sinned and found a way into the lake of fire. So now the father sent the son to redeem or to salvage or to bring us back to him. That's how much he loved the world. Gave you another chance, sisters and brothers, at becoming indeed God. Come on, Stevie. 17. Yes. For God sent not his son into the world to, to, get, to condemn the world. No. But that the world through him might be saved. Because the, the Lord said the sick people need a doctor, not the well people, the sick people. The law, and he gave you 10 commandments because the law is for the lawless, sisters and brothers. The law is not for those who keep the law. 
It is for those who break the law. It is designed to correct and save. The Ten Commandments are designed to correct and save, and they are for life, for liberty, for justice, for peace. And in keeping them, you will become God. Well, that's your works. Of course it is. Then how are you going to get in the lake of fire? By your works. So don't tell me works don't count. What verse, Stephen? 18. Read it. He that believeth on him is not condemned, uh -huh. but he that believeth not is condemned already. You don't believe that Jesus came into the world, that he created the creator and maker of everything? You are condemned already because you reject truth. That's it, Stevie. Because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. So faith come by hearing. How could you believe in a God that you ain't never heard about? And then when you hear about them, you've been taught a different Jesus and a different gospel that when you hear truth, it sounds like a lie. We teach you here, according to the Bible, that God is creating God. And you say, oh, we'll never be God. Then why do you make it? What's the purpose of you going to church? Just to live and to do anything you want to do? No, you are not your own. You are bought with a price, sisters and brothers. Everything that God, he gave you his word so that you can read it, walk in it and be transformed by, by the renewing of your mind. That's what this walk is all about, sisters and brothers. What verse, Stevie? 19. Go ahead. And this is the condemnation, that the light is coming to the world. Right. And men love darkness rather than light. That's why the world is so wicked today, because we love darkness. Think about when you go to the movies. All the movies you go to is about killing and death and shooting. Something about love and peace and learning the Bible. You don't want that. Oh, that's boring. We don't want that. Because we are up under the administration of death. So the Lord says, since you love death, I'm going to give you, I'm going to kill you all kinds of ways. So be like that restaurant and have it your way. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Luke, my brother. Luke 1. Luke, the first chapter. Luke chapter 1. It's, that's why I love this book. I read this book, sisters and brothers. It gives me understanding. It gives me peace. Shows me what's coming in the world and where we at in the world. Shows me how long we got to before the Lord come back. Luke 1 and verses 5 through 7. Come on, Stevie. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, uh -huh. a certain priest named Zacharias uh -huh. of the course of Abia, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, uh -huh. and her name was Elizabeth. And what happened? And they were both righteous before God, uh -huh. walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. Wait a minute. I thought we we're not under the law, the commandments of God no more. This is the New Testament we're reading here, people. They were walking. What makes you righteous in the eyes of God? Walking in the commandments of God, sisters and brothers. That's your personal relationship with him. Since you're going to come up with a cliche, your personal savior. You got to keep these commandments. Then he knows you. You don't keep his commandments. He don't know you. What are you going to say, Stevie? Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Never knew you. I never knew you. But he keep you. You keep his commandments. He said, you are my friends indeed. If you... Hear the things I say and do them. What verse? Seven. Come on. And they had no child because that Elizabeth was barren. Uh huh. And they both were now and they both were now well stricken in years. Skip down to verse eleven and go ahead. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. Now, what is the purpose of the angels? The angels are designed. They are messengers, and they are to bring you instruction. Especially, especially to those who are heirs of salvation. Continue, Stevie. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled uh -huh. and fear fell upon him. Uh -huh. But the angel said unto him, fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard. And thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son. Yes. And thou shalt call his name John. Thou shalt call his name John. Talking about John the Baptist. Continue down. Uh, Continue. And, uh, yeah, continue. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. Uh -huh. And he shall be great in the sight of the Lord. Because that's what that's what Zechariah was praying for a son, a child to continue the Levitical priesthood or the priesthood. And so the Lord granted him, you're going to have a son, and you shall call his name John. Just like he told Mary, Elizabeth's cousin, you're going to have a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, and he shall be he, to save his people from their sins. And not the Israel only, but the whole world, sisters and brothers. Come on, bro. And shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. Uh -huh. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, yes. even from his mother's womb. Yes. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. In other words, John was a pre-runner for Jesus, sisters and brothers. Make straight the way of the Lord. Go ahead. 
and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah. Just like Elijah did in his days. Go ahead. To turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. And this is what the Israel of God is trying to do. We're trying to turn the hearts of the people back to God in truth and in verity and in righteousness, sisters and brothers. What's wrong with that? But they call us a cult. But we read everything that we do. Come on, bro. And the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. Yes. To make a ready people prepared for the Lord. To make a ready people prepared for the Lord. Let's uh, continue down uh, to verse 57 and go ahead. Now Elizabeth's full time came uh -huh. that she should be delivered and she brought forth a son. Uh-huh. And, and she her, brought forth a son. And, uh, verse 62. Go ahead. And they made signs to his father how he would have him called. Right. And he asked for a writing table and wrote saying, his name is John. He, he should be called the angel to instructed him on what to name the baby boy. Mm -hmm. You're going to call his name John. Go ahead. And his mouth was opened immediately uh -huh. and his tongue loosed and he spake and because praised the, God. But he called the angel. Uh, Zachariah didn't believe him at first. So the Lord used that angel to make him dumb. Them angels got the power to do what they want to do to get your attention. You didn't believe. I'm going to make you believe. So now he said, give me something to write with. His name shall be called John. Go ahead. 67. Yeah. And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, uh -huh. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Yes. He had visited and redeemed his people. Wait a minute. You're filled with the Holy Ghost. So now you're speaking none other than the word of God. You got people talking about they're full of the Holy Ghost, but have no knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm full of the Spirit. I speak in tongues. What are you saying? Well, God, no. Then why are you saying it in the church and the Lord tell you do it in the privacy of your own home? Or do it in some secret corner somewhere. Which is better? Speaking in tongue or prophesying? Read 1 Corinthians 14 chapter. All of us sisters and brothers. But they have institutionalized schools to teach people to speak in tongue. And giving the people churchianity. Or what I call counterfeit Christianity. Prophesying is greater than speaking in tongue. Every day. Come on bro. 69. Yeah. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Look what, look what he's full of the Holy Spirit. Look what he's speaking. The wonderful works of God. Go ahead. As he spake by mouth of his holy prophet, uh -huh. which gave, which have been since the world began. Since, since the world began. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. That we should be saved from our enemies. Right. And from the hand of all that hate us. And, and that's the wonderful thing, sisters and brothers. Go ahead. To perform the mercies promised to our fathers uh -huh. and to remember his holy covenant. Oh, you mean they, you still got to keep the commandments, which is the royal law, his holy covenant? You still got to do that. Verse 76, 76, go ahead. And now child shall be called the prophet of the highest. And that's what John the Baptist is called. He was called the prophet of the highest. Go ahead. For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his way. Yes. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people. Ain't that what we supposed to be as priests of God? We supposed to give knowledge. Didn't he tell you, Israel, I'm going to make you a horn of salvation to the Gentiles, a light to the Gentiles, and also the Hamites, all of the sons of Adam, sisters and brothers. That is why the Jews are chosen to bring wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to the rest of the world. And if you don't get it from Israel, you don't get it. I'm talking about Israel who have this thing in truth. We ain't no better than nobody else. The only thing about it is the Lord has given us a job and we blew it. So we didn't do it. The Lord put us in captivity and scattered us, but he never took his word away from us. No, our job. Can't nobody do it better than us? And yes, I'm boasting. Well, you got a lot of nerve and I'm going to keep them too. What we at, Stevie? Uh, end of 77. Read it. Uh, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people uh -huh. by the remission of their sins. For remission, ain't that what Jesus came to do? Preach the gospel of the kingdom of God. To kickstart his priests. That's why the book says he came unto his own and his own received them not. But to many as did receive him, gave he power to become the sons of God. And daughters, sisters and brothers. The woman ain't excluded. excluded. My house should be called a house of prayer for all people. He just happened to have one people to teach the rest of the nations. And it can't be broken. It can't be broken. It's all that simple. Let's go to 1 Kings, the 18th chapter. Look at this thing from another point of view. In the days of Elijah. 1 Kings, the 18th chapter. We're going to pick it up just a little bit, Stevie. 1 Kings, the 18th chapter. And start reading that verse 17. Go ahead. And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, uh -huh. Art thou he that troubleth Israel? Wait a minute. The, when the kingdom is going good and the... The, the people are doing what thus said the Lord. 
everything is going smooth. When they begin to get out of whack, the Lord send the prophet. Now you're going to talk about, are you coming to trouble Israel? No, I'm coming to correct and save. Go ahead. And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, uh -huh. but thou and thy father's house, Be and that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and uh -huh. thou hast followed Balaam. You see what happened when you, when you forsake, when any nation forsake the commandments of the Lord? The Lord got to bring some drama, some destruction. It's, all, it's written already. We read in the book. It's not him. His idea, not my idea. We read in the word of God. Go ahead. Now, therefore, send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel uh -huh. and the prophets of Baal, 450. Jezebel's prophets, yes. Mm -hmm. And the prophets of Groves, 400, which eat at Jezebel's table. Remember, Satan got ministers too, but they're going to come to you as ministers of righteousness. In Elijah's day, it was Jezebel's 400 uh, plus prophets. Mm -hmm. That was verse two. Uh, continue. Uh, 20. Yes. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. To Mount Carmel, yes. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long hath ye between two opinions? Uh -huh. If the Lord be God, follow him. Uh -huh. But if Baal, then follow him. Skip down. Uh, uh, skip down. Go ahead. And the people and the people answered him not a word. Uh -huh. Then he then said Elijah unto the people. I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord. So he thought at that time. The Lord always got a remnant. But go ahead. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. 450 against one prophet. Mm -hmm. Against one prophet. Wow. Read it. 24. Yeah. What, what, what reference is that? Yeah, 24. 24. Go ahead. And call ye on the name of your God. Uh -huh. And I will call on the name of the Lord. Uh -huh. And the God that answered by fire, let him be God. And all the people answered and said, it is well spoken. Oh, go ahead. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, uh -huh. choose you one bullock for yourselves yeah. and dress it first. For ye are many and call in the name of your gods, but put no fire on them. Okay, get your, get your, get your uh, sacrifice uh, animals together, and, but don't put no fire up on it. Your altar, don't put no fire up on it. Go ahead. And they took the bullock which was given them uh -huh. and they dressed it and called in the name of Baal from morning even until noon saying, Oh, Baal, hear us. Baal! Baal, hear us, Baal. Maybe he go, maybe, maybe we, we, what did Elijah mock them do? What did he do? But there was no voice, nor any that answered. Uh -huh. And they leaped upon the altar which was made. Then they leaped and then they started cutting themselves. Go ahead. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them. Yeah. And said, cry aloud, for he is a God. Hey, cry louder. If he, maybe he's, he's a God. Cry louder. You say he God, cry louder. Go ahead. Either he is talking uh -huh. or he is pursuing or he is in a journey. Or pre-adventure, he sleepeth and must be awake. Maybe he, uh, maybe he went to the mall. Mm -hmm. Maybe he went grocery shopping. Cry louder, where he at? Maybe he having a conversation that he can't hear you. Mm -hmm. But see, the God of Israel always hears the righteous. Yes, sir. And his arms are not shortened that he can't save. Because besides him, there are no other gods. So you, what you call your God may not be a God. Go ahead. And they cried aloud and cut themselves yeah. after the manner with knives and lancets till the blood gushed out upon them. Uh -huh. And it came to pass when midday was passed yeah. and they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice uh -huh. that there was neither voice nor any to answer nor any that regarded. Because you know why? Because they, God, was no God. You go in the church, sisters and brothers, are you getting the true gospel of the kingdom of God? Or are you getting fairy tales? What verse, Stevie? 30. And, Eli and Elijah said unto all the people, uh -huh. come near unto me. Yes. And all the people came near unto him. Uh -huh. And he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. Uh -huh. Skip, Skip down. down. To Skip down to 36 and go here. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel. And that is the God that we call upon in the Israel of God. And besides him, there is no God, even Jesus. The book says he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And the only God that I've read about that says life and death is in my hands. I have mercy on whom I will. I kill whom I will. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. I'm introducing you to the God of this Bible, the God of Israel. Teach, brother. And beside him, there is no God. And I said before a billion people, read it, Steve. Let it be known this day that our God in Israel uh -huh. and that I am thy servant and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord. Yes. Hear me. That yes. this people may know that thou art the Lord God. Yes. And that thou 
has turned their hearts back again. Then what happened, Stevie? Then the fire of the Lord fell uh -huh. and consumed the burnt sacrifice. Yes. And the wood. Yes. And the stones and the dust. Uh -huh. And licked up the water that was in the trench. Then the Lord said that he's like a consuming fire. You're reading about it, sisters and brothers. Come on. And when all the people saw it, yep. they fell on their faces. Uh -huh. And they said, the Lord, he is the God. The Lord, he is the God. And what happened to them false prophets? And Elijah said unto them, yes, take the prophets of Baal. Uh -huh. Let not one of them escape. Don't let one escape. And the Lord going to do it to I'm one of you false prophets out here today. The Lord going to do you. You better turn and serve the true and living God, the God of Israel. Come out of this nonsense and this fairy tale and this churchianity. And you better deal with the God of Israel. Read it, Stevie. And Elijah brought them down to the brook of Kishon and slew them there. And slew them there. This is your example. Remember, God don't change. Jesus Christ is saying yesterday and forevermore. He don't change. He don't change. Jeremiah the 16th chapter. Because he's going to recover his people. He's going to recover his people. But he's using us, sisters and brothers, I'm talking about all of his servants in the world who are teaching his truth and uprightness. Revelation, uh, Jeremiah 16, verse 9. Go ahead. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, yes. the God of Israel, Notice Behold, the God of Israel. Go ahead. Behold, I will cause the seas out of this place in your eyes. Uh -huh. And in your days, the voice of mirth. Yeah. And the voice of gladness. Uh -huh. And the voice of the bridegroom. And yeah. the voice of the bride. Yeah. Because the Lord know how to do it. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt show these people all these words. And they shall say unto thee, uh -huh. Wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Why? Why these people? Why? Why, Stevie Reed? Or what is our iniquity? What is our, what is our transgression? Go ahead. Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our God? Tell them, Stevie. Then shalt thou say unto them, because your fathers have forsaken me. Because, and I said today, because we have, our ancestors have forsaken the Lord. Read, Stevie. Say after the Lord, and have walked after other gods, uh -huh. and have served them, and have worshipped them. What you doing bowing down to the Christmas tree? Why are you celebrating Christmas or Christ's Mass? What are you doing in uh, all this paganism that have nothing to do with me? You're celebrating Easter, the Astarte, the goddess of fertility, where they had sacred temple prostitutes. Well, my mama did well, did it. My father did it. They meant well, but they were uninformed. Now we are in the age of information. Come out of darkness into the marvelous light and save yourself, sisters and brothers. Read, Stevie. And have worshipped them and yes. have forsaken me yes. and have not kept my law. I told you in my commandments that I'm a jealous God and I will in no wise acquit the guilty. Read. And ye have done worse than your father. Uh -huh. For behold, ye walk everyone after the imagination of his evil heart yep. that ye may not hearken unto me. And when you hear the truth, you say, well, you serve God your way. I'm going to serve my way. Okay. Say that when you stand at the great white throne judgment because you will not be in that first resurrection with that attitude. That's why Jesus said, repent and save yourselves from this ungodly world. What verse is that? Skip down to 14. Go back to 14. Go ahead. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, yep. that it shall come, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, uh -huh. that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. What are you going to say? But the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Right. And from all the lands whither he had driven them. Yes. And I will bring them again into their land uh -huh. that I gave unto their father. Yes. He go, and he's going to do it. Go ahead. Behold, I will send for many fishes, saith yes. the Lord. And, and, and that's what we are today. We are fishes of men. Because now, John did it in his time. Moses did it in his time. The prophets did it in their time. Noah tried to do it in his time. That didn't work. Now we got to do it in our day and time. We got to make straight the way of the Lord, sisters and brothers, whereby people... People could come back to God, repent for their sins, and save themselves. It is Paul, and it's written, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, sisters and brothers. Come on, Stevie. And they shall fish them. Yes. And after will I send for many hunters. Yes. And they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. And the Lord is going to do that when he recovers his, his, uh, his people. So now, but he's going to do it on a grand scale at his return. Psalm uh, 40, Psalm 40. Psalm 40, Psalm 40, and pick it up at verse 5 when you get it. Psalm 40 and 5. Go ahead, Stevie. Many, O Lord, my God, 
are thy wonderful works which thou hast done. Absolutely. And thy thoughts which are to us were. Yes. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto oh, thee. Oh, how many times the Lord, all through the angels of history, he have always tried to save his people, but we would not hear. Come on. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Come on, Stevie. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire. Uh -huh. My ears hast thou opened. Uh -huh. Burnt offering and sin offering hast thou not required. I gave you animal sacrifice to control you. It was a schoolmaster. Then I restored it, in which I took not away. I took it off. And I gave you, I wrote my laws, that's commandments. I want them in your mind and your heart because God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, sisters and brothers, not in falsehood or with lip service. Means nothing to God. Well, God know my heart. He sure do know your mind. He gonna judge you according to it too. Come on, Stevie. Verse seven. Yeah. Then I said, then I, then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. The whole Bible is about Jesus Christ and his people Israel and all nations that come in contact with Israel. Read. I delight to do thy will, oh my God. Yes. Yeah, I, yeah, thy law is within my heart. Wait a minute, this is the Old Testament. What law? The Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. The Ten Commandments because animal sacrifice couldn't save you. So I gave you just ten. I gave you just ten to keep. Well, it's too hard. It ain't too hard. You don't want to do it. Read it. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. What is the righteousness? Uh, the, the come back. Don't steal. Don't commit adultery. Honor thy mother and thy father. Don't have no other gods before me. Don't take my name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor thy mother, thy father. Don't covet. Read, Stevie. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Lord. Right. Thou knowest. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. Right. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. Yes. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. From the great congregation, sisters and brothers. The Lord said it in the beginning when he said in the beginning, God said, started right there. Then he told Adam, don't eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The day you eat, you shall surely die. Man didn't listen. Death came in. So therefore, we got a hearing problem and an obedient problem. Whole thing. It's all divided up into that. Let's go to Hebrews, the second chapter, and look what he came and did. Hebrews chapter 2. Hebrews chapter 2, and begin reading that verse 9 when you get it. Hebrews 2 and 9. But we see Jesus. But we see who? Jesus. Jehovah. Jesus. Yahweh. Jesus. Yeshua. Jesus. Come on. Who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. Oh, he was made. So uh, to the witnesses out there, his name was never Michael. We see Jesus, who was made a little lower than an angel. Michael is an angel. Jesus is never, never an angel. Read it, bro. Crowned with glory and honor. Yes. That he, by the grace of God, shall taste death for every man. Yes. There ain't no angel. And Michael ain't did that. Michael is a warrior angel. He's the captain of the Lord's host. Come on. For it became him. Yes. For whom are all things and by whom are all things. Yep. And bringing many sons unto glory uh -huh. to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. Through suffering because Jesus told you that many shall suffer for, if you suffer for righteousness sake, then you belong to me. Well, I believe in God, but I don't want to suffer. Then you can't belong to him. Come on, Steve. For both he that sanctified uh -huh. and they who are sanctified are all of one. Yes. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. Now that's what we try to be. We're trying to be brothers and sisters in Christ. Indeed also. Come on. Saying. Yeah. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. Uh -huh. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. Come on. And again I will put my trust in him. Yes. And again behold I and the children which God hath given me. That's why he told you. I came that you might have life. But you don't want it. You want death. You don't want to believe me. I'm trying to save you every way possible. I gave you the Sabbath day so that it reminds you that it returns. It reminds you of the millennial period of my kingdom, not the father's kingdom, but the son's kingdom. You can't get to the father's kingdom until you get through the son's kingdom. Remember, Jesus got to rule and reign for a thousand years with his saints. Have you not heard that by your pastor? Read, Stevie. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood. Right. He also himself likewise took part of the same. Yes. That through death he might destroy him that had power of death. Uh -huh. That is the devil. Because Satan killed the creation, sisters and brothers, by one man seeing it into the world. Wow. How? Because the God didn't act until Adam listened to his wife. 
And he told you, dust you are and dust shall you return. I'm going to separate and kick you out of the garden because you cannot take instruction. You can't obey because you listen to the Antichrist, which at that time was none other than Satan, the devil. Unreal. But you don't hear none of this. You don't believe none of this. It sounds like a fairy tale. All you want to hear is I'm going up yonder. No, you're going to meet the Lord in the clouds if you are so blessed. Pay attention to your God. He's trying to save you. What verse? 15. Read it. And deliver them who through fear of death uh -huh. were all their lifetime subject to bondage. The only thing that delivers you from death is knowledge, sisters and brothers. Yes, sir. Knowledge and obedience to God. Skip down, uh, Stephen, to verse 17 and 18. Read it. Wherefore in all things it behoved him yes. to be made like unto his brethren. Yes. That he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things returning to God. Yes. To make reconciliation for the sins of the people. Reconciliation, recovering of the people because by one man sin entered to the, to the world and death by sin. So he had to come and redeem or salvage or reconcile us back to the father, sisters and brothers. That was the mission of Jesus. Mission of Jesus. Our high priest, Matthew 4, Matthew the fourth chapter. Well, he, well, brother Jew, you're very passionate because I very believe. And what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Matthew 4. Matthew 4, and we're going to go 23 through 25. Read it, Stevie. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, uh -huh. and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. No, 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 you read that wrong. And Jesus went to all Galilee and in their synagogues, preaching going to heaven. Preaching the gospel of the kingdom. The government of God, of the kingdom of God, that's going to come to this earth, sisters and brothers. This is why you say in your prayer, thy kingdom come. Not you going up there to the Father's kingdom, but thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth. Read it. And all healing, all, and, excuse me, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Yes. And his fame went throughout all Syria. Uh -huh. And they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diver diseases and torments and those which were possessed with uh -huh. devils and those which were lunatic. Yeah. And those that had the palsy and he healed them. And he healed them. What's greater, sisters and brothers, physical healing or spiritual healing? Because if you heal physically, you still going to get old, sick and eventually die. But if you are healed spiritually, that's what's going to get you eternal life. And that's what I want, sisters and brothers. That's what we're striving for. And that's what we're trying to get you to partake of. The Israel of God is not trying to condemn or uh, 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 judge nobody. We are trying to save your life through the teaching of the gospel of the kingdom of God. The same thing that our predecessors did. Let's go to 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. All this good wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and you just want to fly off off in the air. Well, I'm going to be like Jesus. Jesus don't have wings. And when you get to heaven, what you going to do when you get there? Back down. Because you ain't going where you think up there. Every time you get into an airplane, you go into heaven. That's just part of this. I say part of the second heaven. Oh, by the way, how many heavens is it? The book tell you, do the homework. 2 Corinthians 4. 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 1. 2 Corinthians 4 and 1. When you get it, go ahead. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. Don't get tired. You got this ministry. Don't, don't get tired. What ministry? The gospel of the kingdom of God. Come on, Stevie. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Yes. Not walking in craftiness. Yes. Nor handling the word of God deceitfully. We ain't handling the word of God to get paid. To deceive people, to get people up in an uproar, running back and forth in the church? No. How you going to learn if you're running back and forth and walking on top of chairs and falling all out and, and somebody pushing you back and all that kind of stuff? That's not of God. You can't read that. Read, come on, Stevie. But by manifestation of the truth. Yes, by the, showing, the bringing forth and showing forth of the truth, sisters and brothers. Come on. Commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Yes. But if our gospel be hid. But if our gospel be hid, what? It is hid to them that are lost. How? In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Notice that's a little G, not a big G. Mm -hmm. Say the devil is the God of this world. You are operating in Satan's domain. Oh, by the way, Satan will bless you in the end. It'll be to your demise and your destruction. Yes, it will. So all blessings don't come from God. Although God runs and controls everything, Satan the devil, didn't he offer Jesus all the kingdoms of the world? 
And the Lord told him, get thee behind me, Satan, for thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Him only shall thou serve. Yeah, Satan got a God. He's still an angel. He's just a fallen angel. But God is the creator and maker of everything, even the angels, be they wicked or be they righteous. What verse? Uh, middle of four. Come on. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, yes. who is the image of God, yes. should shine unto them. Yes. For we preach not ourselves, yes. but Christ Jesus the See, Lord. See, the angel of God, we ain't preaching about us. Everything we do and we teach is about the glory of God and the God of Israel. Come on. And ourselves, your servants, for Jesus. Yes. Sake, for God. Yes. Who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, have shined in our hearts. To give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Just Christ. Just like in the beginning when he said, let there be light to give light upon the earth. Now I want to give you some spiritual light, spiritual food, spiritual understanding so that you can repent. So that you can be baptized properly in the name of Jesus. And then come out of this sinful world, uh, uh, come out of this sinful world. Now you just became a saint, separated, set apart. It's what it's all about, sisters and brothers. Come on, Steve. But we have this treasure in earthy, earthen vessels. Yeah, you got this, what treasure? The, the wisdom of God in this earthly flesh and blood body. Come on. That the excellency of the power may be of God and yes. not of us. So that you don't get the high mind like Satan the devil did and get yourself cut off forever. But you, you keep your body in subjection through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of God. Now you got a, a law that says, I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't cross this line. I can't sleep with this person. I got to behave myself. That takes wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And it's for your good because remember, you are working on literally becoming God. You can't, come, you can't become God and you run amok and all over the place, sisters and brothers, living a reckless life. This whole Bible is designed to correct and save you so that you can discipline yourself, so that you can literally become very God. Jesus Christ being the firstborn. Yes, sir. This is why we're so passionate about it, sisters and brothers. We're not trying to condemn nobody. We're trying to save you if you will be saved. But your salvation or your destruction is in your hands. I did my job. What was that? What verse? We're on 13. Come on. We have in the same spirit of faith. Yes. According as it is written. Yes. I believed and therefore have I spoken. Yes. We also believe and therefore speak. And we can't speak except that which is already written. Anything other than that is your interpretation. Come on, Steve. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us, should raise up us also by Jesus yes. and shall present us with you. Yes. For all things are for your sakes. Yes. That everything is for your sakes. I created and gave you dominion over everything. You are practicing. Man is a prototype of God in the making. Come on. That the abundant grace might, might through the thanksgiving of many rebound to the glory of God. That's why the book said when we see him, we're going to be like him because spirit, uh, 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 God is a spirit and spirits are formed Beings of light. That's why I say, Job said, hide me in the grave until my chains come. You're going to look like you are, but you're going to be a being of light. Flesh and blood will no longer be your light because flesh and blood is temporary. Let's go, uh, Stephen, to 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter 4. 1 Peter, all this stuff in the Bible, uh, this word of God is written here. And we want to believe in fairy tales because we hate truth. 1 Peter 4 and 1. First Peter four and one. Come on, Steve. For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the uh -huh. flesh. Yes. Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Be prepared to suffer. Your mother going to be against you. Your father going to be against you. Your pastor going to be against you. Your friends or even your job. People on your on your job might be against you, but you stand and have it to done all to stand. Come on, Stevie. For he have for he that have suffered in the flesh yes. have ceased from sin. Because you because now you know what sin is, so you don't sin willfully. When you know better, you don't do that. When I was a child, I thought as a child, I did childish things. But when I became a full grown man, or if you're a full grown woman, you put away little girl things or little boy things. Now you're walking in the maturity and spirit of God. Come on, Steve. That ye no longer should live the rest of his time. In the flesh to the lust of men, right. but to the will of God. In other words, being a sinner, that's what sin is made out of. The definition of sin is the transgression of the law. But 
The three components that make up sin is the lust of the eyes and the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. The same thing that got Satan the devil kicked out. Don't go there. Don't go there, sisters and brothers. What verse? Three. Go ahead. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. Uh -huh. When we walked in lasciviousness. See, that's what the book says. Gentiles worship and sacrifice to devils. Go ahead. Lust. Yes. Access of wine. Yeah. Reveling. Partyings. Banqueting. Banqueting. And abominable idolatry. Abominable idolatry. It's called Gentile worship. That's why the Lord said, Israel, he said, he said I'm going to give you as a like to the Gentiles. Peter taught it first, but Paul was the apostle to the Gentiles. And when the Gentiles heard the gospel, the Bible say they were glad. Mm -hmm. Because now salvation is coming to them. Mm -hmm. And when the Hamites hear it, they're going to be glad. Mm -hmm. Because my house should be a house of prayer for all people. Yes, sir. But it's only one gospel, one doctrine, one true church, one faith, one baptism. One Lord and Savior of us all, sisters and brothers. So anything other than God is not God. Come on. Verse six. Yes. Go for to, go ahead. Excuse me. For this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead. Yeah. That they might be judged according to the men in the flesh. But yes. Living according to God in the spirit. Absolutely. But the end of all things is at hand. Yes. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Because yeah, we're living in the last days. It started way back in. Uh, 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 in the days of Nebuchadnezzar, sisters and brothers, started way back then. What verse? What are we going, Stephen? We're on 10 now. Go ahead. As every man hath received the gift. Yes. Even so minister the same one to another. Yes. As good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Go ahead. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. You got to speak according to the answers of God and that which is written in this book. Not your opinion. Your opinion means nothing. The only thing that means something is what is written in the law, statutes, and commandments of God. From Genesis to Revelation. Yes, all of it, sisters and brothers. Read. If any man minister. Yes. Let him do it as of the ability which God giveth. Yes, teach what you know. Don't go beyond what you know. And as time go, Paul, Peter, Peter said, grow in grace. Yes, Paul sir. said, grow in grace. You grow in the knowledge of the word of God. The more that you read, the more that you understand, the more that you teach. Yes, sir. And be transformed by it. And teach others to be transformed by it. So that their minds can be renewed through the knowledge and wisdom of God. Read it, Stevie. God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ. Yes. To whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. And I say amen the same thing, my brother. Go ahead. What Be verse we at? 12. Continue. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. The fiery trials, they're going to try. You're going to go through the trials and tribulation, but they come to make you stronger. Read. As though some strange thing happened unto you. Yeah. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings. That when his glory shall be revealed, right? you may be glad also with exceeding joy. Because when we see him, we're going to be like him. Go ahead. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, uh -huh. happy are ye. Yes. For the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. And their part he will... And their part, he is evil spoken of, yeah. but on your part, he is glorified. Yes. But let none of you suffer as a murderer right. or as a thief right. or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other men's matters. Don't willfully sin. That's, that's the lust of the flesh and the pride of life and, and, the lust, and the lust of the eyes, sisters and brothers. Don't go there because now you are jeopardizing your eternal salvation. Come on, Stevie. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian. Now, if you're going to be a follower of Christ or a Christian, do what? Let him not be ashamed. Yeah. But let him glorify God on this behalf. You going through some drama in your life and you suffering for Christ or you suffering for correcting somebody according to the word of God and you trying to walk this thing and people riling you and messing with you, you ain't supposed to hold your head down. Oh, why they mess with me? You're supposed to look up because now your, your redemption is near, sisters and brothers. You're on the right course. Yes, sir. Jesus told you that many, if you suffer for righteousness sake, then are you my children indeed. You got to do this thing. Why should you have it any easier than either of our predecessors? Come on, Stevie. 17. Yes. For the time has come that the judgment must begin at the house of God. That is the church. Judgment going to start in the church. You listening, church? Lord watching you. Come on. And if it first begin at us, uh -huh. what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? The lake of fire. Plain and simple. The lake of fire. Mark the 16th chapter. Mark 16. All this in here, and you don't hardly hear any of them, but you're going to hear sound bites, one or two verses. And then you come back and say, oh, pastor, so priest. What did he say? He sweated. He drank water. He walked back and forth. He wiped sweat, made you feel good, pushed you back in your head, and didn't teach you nothing.
I have a problem with that, sisters and brother. God has a problem with it. Mark 16 and 9. Let's go, Stevie. Now when What's Je the book say? Now when Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, yeah. he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. Uh-huh. And she went and told them that had been with him yeah. as they mourned and wept. As they mourned and wept. Go ahead. 14. Let's go to 14 and read it. Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat uh -huh. and, up and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart. See, now, he, now he's upbraiding or chastising his disciples because of their unbelief. Because he says, many as I love, I correct, I chastise because I love you. I don't want you to die the second death. Read. Because they believed not them which had seen him uh -huh. after he was risen. Uh -huh. And he said unto them. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. And preach every, what? And preach the gospel. So he told all of his disciples, all of them was Israelites, sisters and brothers. That's our job. Go you into all the world and preach the gospel or the coming of the government of God. Go ahead. To every creature. Yeah. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Uh -huh. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Uh -huh. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. He, they shall speak new tongues. In other words, they're going to give the oracles of God. Tongue is none other than another language. That's all. Words that are easy to be understood. Go ahead. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, uh -huh. it shall not hurt them. Uh -huh. They shall lay hands on the sick. They shall recover. Now, we don't take up no deadly. That was back in Paul's them days. But that did that to show sign that the God, the spirit of God was with them and upon them, sisters and brothers. I ain't going to mess with no poisonous snake today. Don't work like that. I'm just going to do my job and teach the gospel and teach the gospel. Malachi 3, Malachi 3, Malachi 3 and begin reading at verse 6. Go ahead, my brother. For I am the Lord. Yeah. I change not. I don't change. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. The only reason why we're not consumed because he made a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Jacob's children not to him, which is us, the descendants of the Israelites of the Bible, which we are. Indeed, we are. We're not destroyed because he said, I will always leave a remnant. Come on. Even from the days of your father, yes. ye are gone away from mine ordinances. Yes. And have not kept them. Yeah. Return unto me. Return to me. And I will return unto you. And I'll turn back to you. He has returned unto us. Go ahead. But ye said, when shall we return? Uh huh. Verse 16. 16. Go ahead. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. And what happened? And the Lord hearkened and uh, heard it. Yes. And the book of remembrance was written before him. For yes. And that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Yeah. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. Yes. And that day when I make up my jewels. Yep. And I will spare them. As a man spare of his own son that serveth him. Because they repented. They considered what they was doing and they repented. And the Lord, all he wants for you to do is acknowledge your transgression. He said, repent, turn to me. I will cast your sins away from you as far as the east is from the west. You don't know how far that is, sisters and brothers. He's a loving God. He's a merciful God. But he don't play. You mess with him, he will kill you. Yes, sir. Wake you up and kill you forever. Well, you can't die, but you're eternally separated. That is torture in itself, in and of itself. Colossians, Colossians, the first chapter. All this in the book, but you go to church and hear sound bites. I don't have time for that. I got to do my job. I got to make straight the way of the Lord and prepare the people for the, his returns so that he can have a holy people and a holy church unto himself. Colossians 1 and begin reading that verse 2. Go ahead when you get it. To the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossal. Yeah. Grace be unto you. Yes. And peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Praying always for you. Yes. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus. Yes. And of the love which ye have to all the saints. And we give the same praise and faith. Go ahead. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven. Yes. Wherefore ye heard before before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Yes. Which is come unto you as it is in all the world and bring it forth fruit as it doeth also in you since the day ye heard of it and knew the grace of God in truth. Jesus, praise the Lord. What, is, what else, brother? That it? it? So sisters and brothers, what we preach here is the gospel of the kingdom of God, the government of the setting of God on this earth. And indeed, it is a labor of love. And it is beautiful and marvelous in the eyes of God. And it is beautiful and marvelous in our eyes. Thank you for your time.